Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to this FS23 tutorial video. In this video I'll show you everything you need to know about horse keeping. And here we are at the horse barn in Neubrunn. Yeah, and before we start, I should tell you that uh, having horses is not very profitable in FS23. So, first you need a lot of equipment to feed them with hay and some grain and straw. And, yeah, you g only get very little money in the end from horse keeping. And it is uh, rather time consuming. So having horses is nothing to earn a lot of money when you are all, uh, just starting. It is more something for your personal luxury and having fun. Here you can see where the horse barn is at Neubrunn. It's at the right side, uh, about in the middle of this. And in Neubrunn there is something rather special about um, buying the horse barn because when you buy the horse barn you get a field for free. Maybe that is not the case in later versions of the game. So this is um, the first version that came out for FS23 and there we get um, fields for free when we buy barns in Neubrunn, except with the pigs, but for the sheep and cows and horse barn. And here we see the field, and usually it costs more than 300,000 bucks, but yeah, when you buy the horse barn, you get it for free. And here we go and buy the horse barn now. It is there, and yeah, it costs one hundred eighteen thousand five hundred bucks, and you just uh, go on A or press the Yes button, and the text in this video is in German, because yeah, I can only do it uh, one time, because I only have one save game. Um, where I can do this something a first time and therefore I do it in German and then I make a voice over in English. But I think you will understand everything. The most of the things are just symbols and I tell you uh, everything that is important. So now we own the horse barn and the field, and this is a nice field. It is more than two hectares uh, big. It's one of the bigger fields in Neubrunn. And the horse barn is nice. We have a little meadow, and you can go inside. Here you are. And you can feed from inside and from the outside. And here they have horse boxes. And you can open this door as well. Yeah. And the next thing we will do is we will buy the horse barn in Emberstone and there I will show you where where you can find the horse barn in Emberstone and here we are already and it's a nice horse farm there with the house and with the decorative barn it has no function and, and it's the same horse barn and you can find it in the upper part of the map at the left side beside the mountain range. 
there it is and you can find it always where you see the symbol with the horse so now we go and buy it so it's the same price than in Neubrunn but you don't get a field for free and somehow that's why I think maybe in later versions you won't get a field for free in Neubrunn as well maybe it is not intentional that you get get this free fields and here we are in my tutorial um, safe game where I already have two horses since uh, more than three years but you because you need uh, three years to bring them to their optimum value and that's what I did in at, um, before I started recording this tutorial to show you the adult horses that you can finally sell and let's have a look here are the two horses and Watson um, has a health of 100% and a fitness of 100% and it is fed with base um, feed which is oat or sorghum and with hay and to make um, the horses totally happy and healthy you need both kinds of food and additional you need straw just to make them healthy and happy they don't eat it um, but they don't produce manure as well and then Watson has a fitness of 100% and you get the fitness by riding so if you ride it for some minutes in a day and the riding is done at 100% um, you get 25% of fitness so in total you need to ride four times four days so to say or four months uh, to get the fitness of 100% and it is advisable to do this in the last four days that you want to uh, have the, uh, the horse because if you stop riding you lose the fitness again and so after 36 um, months and with total riding and fitness and 100% health you get 5000 bucks if you want to sell the horse that is the maximum price that you get and this is not much money for a horse that you have to feed for three years and that you have to train for four months and if you always feed hay and oat and give straw then you pay more than um, for all this feeding than you get in the end and here we have Quinn Quinn has the same age and full health but I didn't ride him and therefore the fitness is zero percent and we get get only four thousand bucks so without the training it's thousand you um, bucks less that you can get and but even in this case if you would have uh, feed fed everything to make him always happy from the beginning uh, you would pay him more than you get and one solution is to give them only hay for the first 32 months of their life um, they won't have any health but it, it doesn't matter um, they just grow older and then when you are at 32 months you start giving them the whole food and straw and start riding and then you get the 5000 bucks in the end and make a tiny little profit 
And yeah, that's a way to get a little profit. But I think keeping horses in FS23 is more for fun and it's nice to have a horse to ride and then if you make a little profit it's nice but it's nothing to be become rich. Now we buy two more um, horses and then I can show you how to ride them and how to feed them. And the horses costs 500 bucks in the beginning and then they are only zero month old so just newborn but you can't see it and you have to pay 300 uh, bucks of fee for transportation um, yeah and then if as you have uh, bought it it's worth only 120 so like with other animals when you buy them um, at once they lose a lot of worth and the horses get worthy again uh, after several months. And here I show you where you can find the horse transporter. So if you really want to have horses for several times, uh, over and over again, maybe it's a good idea to buy the horse trailer that is at the left side and costs 22,000 bucks. Um, but you don't save money with this. And you can have a maximum of eight horses in this barn. So now we go, we can open this door and then we go to one of the new horses to ride him. Yeah, and this uh, door is a little bit special because it looks open, but very often there is um, an invisible barrier. So you have to jump over the uh, gate even if it looks open. And I don't think that is intentional, but um, yeah, don't be, um, don't worry if you can't go through this gate or ride with the horse because there is an invisible collision. And when you go close to the horse, you can press the Y button or press the button with the horse and then you are riding and you see yourself maybe for the first time and you are always this guy with um, short hair and the blue jeans jacket and so we don't have character configuration in FS23. Yeah and riding is more or less rather similar to driving uh, with a little difference. So uh, pressing the uh, the button that you press for driving is speeding the horse up. So if you have reached the speed that you want, you don't need to press the um, the button again because you always become faster, faster, faster or with other one backwards, slower, 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 if you keep pressing the button. So this is different uh, than with um, tractor or so. Now it's only walking. And I don't press the speed button anymore. I only pressed it once. And now I press it a second time. And we have uh, four different walk styles, walk speeds, like horses uh, have. And in the top you can see the percentage of the daily training. So we already have 22% of training from this few meters. So you don't need to ride a long time 
it's enough to just go down there to the spinnery and then up again and then you have done enough of this training. And remember you don't need to do this every day, only in the last four months before you want to sell the horse. Yeah, and it is fun to ride, I would say. Maybe that is the main reason why it's good to have horses in FS23. It is just nice to have some horses and to go riding from time to time. And yeah, when you can earn a little bit of money, this is a nice plus. But remember, nothing to become rich. This is totally different than in FS19. I don't know how it was in FS20, but in FS19, when you had horses, you could become rather rich rather fast because uh, you could earn 50,000 bucks uh, from selling one horse only after 10 days. And now you need 36 days or months and you only get 5,000 bucks. So they are totally nerfed. Yeah, and now we already have 93%. We are nearly back at the barn. And then we can come from here. And with the B button or the, down there at the right side, you can press and jump. But sometimes it doesn't work as intended. Then you have to go back and try again. Now faster, faster. And try again. <laughs> So usually it works, but um, yeah, this is how it it is rather often you want to show something and then it doesn't work. But maybe it's interesting for you to know that it doesn't always work and then you don't need to worry, you just have to try again and now we are going through this gate and here you can see it stopped. There is an invisible barrier. And now we go back again and then we try to jump. And now, yes, and yeah, and now stop, stop, stop. Because if not, we would have maybe jumped over the fence again. And now we press the Y and we are down. We don't need to clean the horses. So this is different to the FS22 version. Um, so the horses are always clean and we don't need to do anything about it. And now we can see Quiver had his daily riding at 100%. And the next day it would be fitness 25%. And then we would have to ride him again and again and again to get the 100%. And if we stop riding, we lose 25% every day. And maybe you wonder why the health is down to zero, even if we have all the food that is needed. This is normal. New bought animals always have a health of zero percent and it takes 10 hours to bring them to a hundred percent. And here we can see Robin, which we didn't ride, uh, has zero percent daily riding. But everything else is the same. So, and strangely enough, we can go through the gate, but we can't ride through the gate. 
And now to the feeding. We can feed by driving into the barn, but not every vehicle or trailer fits into the barn. Therefore, we can feed from outside as well. And this is easier than to drive inside. So here I have a little bit of sorghum in my trailer. And I just go beside the barn and it delivers the sorghum by itself. And there is something that you have to pay attention because what we will see right uh, now is the trough has a uh, capacity of 11,500 liters and it is shared with the basic food and the hay. So if you fill everything up with the hay, there is no place for sorghum or, or oat. And you would have to, um, to wait until there is place again. So, and it is rather easy, it happens rather easy than if you come with your hay, you are happy and you deliver and the trough is full with hay and no more place for oat and sorghum. And with the hay, if you make hay bales, you need this um, mixer wagon and then you take the bale, it, it jumps automatically in the mixer wagon and you can use this to distribute the food or you could use a loading wagon. And in my personal experience it's easier and cheaper to work with the loading wagon but you can't store the hay for that is loose. So when it's not in a bale you have no possibility to store it somewhere. I always store it inside the loading wagon and if the loading wagon is full I leave the rest on the field, on the grass field that is working. Here again, if there would be place uh, in the trough, this would uh, deliver automatically. And yeah, but the capacity is is full and therefore we couldn't feed hay. This is in no problem in this case because there is enough hay in the trough. So and now we deliver the, uh, the straw and we have this straw spreader. You can fill a straw bale inside And yeah, so the straw is not used to produce manure. This is different to the cows, for example. There, if you feed the straw, if you give the straw, uh, they produce manure. But horses don't, even if in reality uh, they do. But uh, the horses want the straw to be feel totally healthy. So this is just an addition to improve the health. And it's not so easy to find the trigger where to spread the straw. And you can just drive around a little bit. Now here we are, now we deliver the straw, it's just spreading outside the barn and then it is full. So I find this with the straw a little bit mysterious but it is working and now we can see the straw is full with 3200 liters. And this is enough and it is enough for quite a while. So they don't need a lot of straw. Yes, 
Yeah, and another, um, what I have to mention, the uh, base feed, the sorghum in this case, uh, is looking red, but that is no problem at all, as long as there is any of the base food, it is enough for them, and you just have to refill it sooner rather than the hay that, that is green. So, and now I show you where you could buy all this equipment. So, there is the loading wagon that I didn't use in this video, but this is rather easy to get the hay. And here we have the mixer wagon and then the straw spreader, which I showed you. And there is the baling equipment with a baler or two balers and the wagon for bales and we don't need to wrap the bales but we need to make hay with a tether. So cutting grass and then going over it with a tether and then you have the hay and that you can collect. But best is uh, with wind rowing. So the same as if you make hay for sheep or, or cows. And now we finally want to sell Watson. That's why we did all this. And we choose it there. I, I went to this paw symbol. And yeah, I want to sell it with the Y button. And... Yeah, we have to pay the fee again, and then I want to sell it, okay, and that's it, we sold it, we got some money after more than three years. Okay, that's it about the horses. I wish you a wonderful day, thank you for watching, and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.